great battle between heaven and hell. Hi and welcome to Select 10. In this video, we are going to count down our picks for top 10 best fantasy series on Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus, and HBO Max. And a little reminder that we have not added the already popular series like Game of Thrones and The Witcher, as many people are already know about those shows. So we have tried to cover current best fantasy series on this four streaming services, which you should watch now. Now let's start the video. Number 10. A Discovery of Witches. Let them come. Matthew. It is a British fantasy series based on the book All Souls Trilogy by Deborah Harkness. The story follows Diana Bishop, a spellbound witch and scholar of 17th century chemistry, whose life changes when she unexpectedly discovers a long lost bewitched manuscript in Oxford's Bodleian Library. This discovery forces her back into the world of magic, where she unraveled the secrets it holds about magical beings and many other mysteries which she must solve. While many also believe that the manuscript contains important clues about the past and the future and want to know how Diana Bishop has been able to get her hands on the book. Now in order to protect the book, Diana is offered help by a mysterious vampire, Matthew Claremont, and despite a long-held mistrust between witches and vampires, they form an alliance and set out to protect the book and solve the mysteries hidden while dodging threats from the creature world. Overall, the show is amazing and highly addictive, and if you are into witches, vampires, and other fantasy creatures, then you will enjoy this show. And the series has 7.9 rating on IMDb, an 86% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 9. Shadow Hunters. It is a supernatural fantasy drama series based on the book, The Mortal Instruments written by Cassandra Clare. The story follows a 18-year-old Clary Frey who finds out on her birthday that she is not who she thinks she is, but rather she comes from a long line of shadow hunters, human angel hybrids who protect our world from demons. But the actual story begins when her mother Jocelyn is kidnapped and Clary is thrust into the world of demon hunting, where she must team up with three shadow hunters, Jace, Alec, Isabel and her best friend Simon, on a quest to find her mother. While living in this new world among creatures like fairies, warlocks, and werewolves, Clary begins a journey of self-discovery as she learns more about her past and what her future may hold. I can say for sure, a true fantasy fan will absolutely enjoy watching this show, and you won't be able to stop yourself from binge-watching all three seasons. And the show has 6.4 rating on IMDb, an 80% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 8. Britannia. It is a historical fantasy drama show created by Jez Butterworth and Tom Butterworth. The series is set in 43 AD when the Roman army led by General Aulus Blautius returned to crush the Celtic heart of Britannia, a mysterious land ruled by warrior women and powerful druids who can channel the powerful forces of the underworld. While the main story follows, Cara, a daughter of the King of the Cantii, forced to put her differences with arch-rival Queen Antidia aside in order to unite the tribes and supposedly magical druids and face their invaders. But General Aulus carries a secret that threatens to undermine the entire mission. If you want to watch something little similar to Game of Thrones from this list, then this should be your pick. The show has fantasy and historical concept combined with intense story and amazing action that keeps you on the edge of your seat. And the show has 6.8 rating on IMDb and 92% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 7. Good Omens. It is a fantasy comedy series created and written by Neil Gaiman, and it is based on his 1990 novel of the same name. The series follows Angel Aziraphale and Demon Crowley as they both team up to form an unlikely duo to keep tabs on a small boy who they think is the Antichrist. Also the two have become overly fond of life on Earth and they don't want to see the world end and are forced into forming an alliance in an attempt to stop the approaching Armageddon and to ensure that the Antichrist never becomes the harbinger of the apocalypse that he's destined to become. But the problem is that these two have the wrong kid and the real Antichrist is actually another boy which makes them realize that they've wasted their time on the wrong boy which means now they have to find the missing Antichrist before he gets his full powers. The show is brilliant and super fun apocalyptic comedy, which keeps you entertained from start to the end. And the show has 8 rating on IMDb and 90% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 6. Preacher. It is a supernatural fantasy adventure series based on the comic book of the same name. 
The series follows a small-town holy man, Jesse Custer, who returns home to West Texas to take over his dad's church. However, Jesse becomes possessed by the angel demon offspring, called Genesis, which felled on Earth and entered the body of Jesse. But after then, Jesse has a great ability to control anyone at will, can even call the angels and send people to hell. But after Genesis escaped from heaven, two angels descending to Earth transforms into human form and plan to extract Genesis from Jesse's body. While on the other hand, Jesse embarks on a quest to better understand his new gift and literally find God, but problems arises when he gets thrust into a crazy world populated by mysterious entities from heaven, hell and everywhere in between. And the show has 7.9 rating on IMDb, an 87% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 5. His Dark Materials. It is a fantasy drama series based on the trilogy of novels of the same name by Philip Pullman. The series is set in a multi-world reality, with the action moving from one world to another. The story begins in an alternative world, in which human souls take the form of lifelong animal companions, called demons. And the main plot follows the life of a young girl named Lyra, who is an orphan living with the scholars at Jordan College, Oxford, where world is governed by the Magisterium, a religious and political body. But things get super interesting when Lyra discovers a dangerous secret that involves the subject of a witch's prophecy that she will change the world. When Lyra friend goes missing, Lyra uncovers a series of kidnappings and a link to a mysterious substance called dust, which leads her on a journey of epic proportions and ultimately to other worlds. The series has interesting mysterious plot and mind-blowing CGI that will always keep you on the edge of your seat. And the show has 7.8 rating on IMDb, an 85% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 4. Lock and Key. We don't know what these keys unlock. It is a fantasy horror drama series based on the comic book series of the same name. After their father is murdered under mysterious circumstances, the three lock siblings and their mother move into their ancestral home, Key House, and discovered that their home is full of reality-bending magical keys that may be connected to their father's death. As the lock children explore the different keys and their unique powers, a mysterious demon awakens and will stop at nothing to steal them. Along with the fantasy elements, Locke and Key also explores love, loss, and the unshakable bonds that defines family. And probably one of the underrated fantasy show on Netflix, which you should watch now. And the show has 7.4 rating on IMDb and 74% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 3. The Wheel of Time. It is an epic fantasy series based on Robert Jordan's novel series of the same name. The story follows Moiraine, a member of the Aes Sedai, a powerful organization of women who can channel the One Power. The One Power is divided into male and female halves, Satan and Seder, which work in opposition and in unison to drive the wheel, and humans who can use its power are known as channelers. And the main plot focuses on Moiraine as she seeks a group of five young villagers from the secluded two rivers, believing one of them is the reincarnation of the dragon, an extremely powerful channeler who broke the world. The dragon reborn is prophesied to either save the world from a primordial evil known as the Dark One or break it once more. To save the world from destruction, Moiraine and her crew dispatch to try and find the newborn before servants of the evil do the same. The fans who read the book are little disappointed, however if you watch this show without comparing it to the books, then you will enjoy it. And the show has 7.1 rating on IMDb, an 82% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 2. Shadow and Bone. It is an epic fantasy drama series based on the series of books in the Grishaverse. The series is set in Ravka, a fictional country based on Russia that is divided by the ominous Shadow Fold, an area of impenetrable darkness where hideous creatures feast on human flesh, which is slowly leading towards the destruction of the nation of Ravka. And there are people called Grisha who can practice the magic and are trained for the Second Army, led by General Kirigan, who has spent his life searching for a Grisha who can summon light and the only person who could destroy the Shadow Fold. Whereas Alina Starkov is a map maker who turns out to be such a Grisha who alone possesses the power to save her country from the forces of darkness that threaten to destroy it. Overall the series has fantastic story, amazing cinematography, and by far the best fantasy show of 2021. And the series has 7.6 rating on IMDb, an 88% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes.
Number 1. The Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance. This fantasy series is a pre-equal to the 1982 Jim Henson film, The Dark Crystal, that explores the world of Thra. The series is set prior to the events of the film, so you don't necessarily need to have seen the film in order to enjoy the series. The story is set on the planet, Thra, and follows three members of the elf-like race of Jelflings, as they embark on an epic quest to unite the different Jelfling clans against the reptilian Skeksis, who have damaged the crystal that acts as the beating heart of the planet and allowed a sickness to spread across the land as a result. Age of Resistance is one of the most impressive feats of practical effects we've ever seen. This series is truly unlike anything else on this list and probably unlike anything you've ever seen before. And the show has 8.4 rating on IMDb and 94% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.